What's good, Council of Comics? It is 8 o'clock, April 8th, 2024. It's episode 84 of the new Keys and Hot Comics of the Week. We will be back in 30 seconds. Good Council of Comics, welcome to the new Keys and Hot Comics of the Week, episode number 84, April 8th, 2024. Oh, we've got so many things to talk about and so many things to give away. If you guys only know, well, you're going to know right now, so let's get it started. All right. Black is like the brightest day. Where are the heroes? Welcome to the new Keys and Hot Comics of the Week, ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys doing out there today? Remember, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button right now and help us out with that stingy little algorithm. <sighs> what a week, what a week, what a week. As always, loyal counsel, Cliff, Phil, C. Bizzle, green shirt guy. How are you guys doing today? What's up? Doing pretty good. And Cliff Nick. Dude, dude, yeah, doing great. Like since I last talked to you guys, we've had earthquakes and an eclipse. So. <laughs> Is the, has the Fire Nation been destroyed? <laughs> it's a magical time. I didn't get my superpowers. Same here. Well, you know what? We don't got any superpowers to give out here, but we got super prizes, super duper prizes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it off like this. Dun, 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 dun. Here's the hashtag, Shalabal. Hashtag Shalabal. Put that into the comment section. And I'm going to take it off again. Why? Because we're doing giveaways. We're doing such big giveaways. Hashtag Shalabal. All right. So let me the intro stuff that we do all the time so we get that out of the way. Show love to our people. Young at Heart Foundation, Faith, Trust, and Beliefs. Our good friend Mike has this organization out in California. They do great things for the kids awaiting medical procedures. There's a couple ways you can help the, these nice, lovely young kids. You can either register to become a donor and help more than 100,000 people that are waiting for a life transplant by hitting this register to become a donor button for Donate at Life America. Or you can sponsor a Hope Kick that's 100% tax deductible. They take all the funds, create nice little, nice little gift boxes for the kids, and it makes them very happy, very, very dope. And also, if you want to do more, you can give Mike a call at 323-396-9998 or email him at info at young at heart foundation.com alternatives this is our home away from home it's located in hyde park new york 870 violet avenue hyde park new york to be exact it's owned by our good friend anthony great great shop great place to get your comics if you're looking to start a pull list you can give anthony a call and you'll get 10 percent off your books you can give him a call at 845-233-4234 all, the email is alterniverse2 at aol.com and the website is alterniverse.net. They do comics, cars, toys. They have the biggest selection in the Hudson Valley of comic books and they do card tournaments every weekend. Lorcana, Pokemon, Magic, whatever you can think of. Just give Anthony a call and he will give you the schedule for that. Our YouTube channel, Council of Comics. We are at 821 subscribers. Stingy little algorithm wants to keep us at 821, but that's okay. That's okay. We're doing just fine. But you guys can help us by subscribing right now and getting us to be pushed up more. Tons of videos out there. I took a week off because it wasn't feeling very well. Um, but I'm kind of back on the grind. So expect more stuff coming up this week. Got tons of stuff. New Comic Book Day, which is our, our flagship show where we do skits and talk about all the new things about New Comic Book Day. We have Council Conversations where we record all the crazy talk that we do at the shop. We have uh, comic book pickups. So we talk about things we picked up at halls and so forth so forth and you know lives you know film and box office news is on sunday that was yesterday so please like and subscribe 
we also have cliff on comics cliff is at 666 subscribers we need one more to get him out of that dark little eclipse face please give him that one one so we can get him out of there cliff you got something to say about the channel real quick as I harness the forces of darkness to take over my sector of YouTube now. <laughs> no, nothing. I'm just, you know, I, 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 I'm just doing stuff. And, you know, I got crisis quests whenever I can. I'm trying to have guests for the end of the month. And uh, I'm going to, I'm doing my own little review corner. So, like, I don't, what am I calling it? I'm calling it something. It's like Cliff's, it's like Cliff's comic something it's lots of c's i'm just throwing c's around maybe that'll lots maybe if i do four c's. c's it'll knock me out of three sixes that's what i'm trying <laughs> all right um subscribe to cliff on comics we also have c bizzle couching and slouching let them know about it c bizzle so basically my channel i'm doing a lot of unboxings um exclusive news i will be doing a 200 subscriber giveaway and a 300 uh, subscriber giveaway fairly soon i already got everything i need for it um so keep checking my videos out and more information coming forward excellent please like and subscribe all right ladies and gentlemen before we get into all these new comic books and everything we got our monthly giveaway we add stuff every week we started off big and oh my god i was writing down the list of they're giving me stuff we're going to show you everything right now that's available for the giveaway i'm gonna let well, you know what? I'll go first. I'm going to go first. Uh, 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 uh. Let me get up here. All right. First up, I need to place the bottom so they don't fall on me. Uh, Uncanny X Men, number 258. New standard edition. Jim Lee, classic cover right there. Wolverine, number 28 from the original series. Nice Mignola right there. Jim Lee Deathblow, number one from the Image Gears. Very nice right there. Action Comics, number two, 1061. Bizarro cover. Action Comics, number 1054. Nice fist up cover. We got Adventure Comics, number 260. Back simile. Very nice. Batgirls, number 18. Dope cover right there. Beware of the Planet of the Apes, the prequel to the movies. That are coming out now from uh, Disney and Fox. Darkwing Duck, Nugga Duck. Dope little Nugga Duck cover. Quick Stops, number one. Kevin Smith action. And Legendary Red Sonia, number one. That's just one pile. All right. Uh, Cliff, you're up next. We also have this Jim Lee Spotlight, Batman 146. Oh, that's very nice. Jim Lee Spotlight, Birds of Prey, number eight. Yes, these are Phil's additions to the pile. Transformers, uh, number one, fit printing sketch cover, Virgin variant. Very, very nice, very nice. Also from Phil, we got Spider-Man, Shadow of the Green Goblin, sketch cover blank. Beautiful. I've thrown in this Scorch, number one. Excellent. Invincible Iron Man 16, John Jan cover. Excellent. Get it signed at Heroes Con. David Nakayama cover. Catwoman, Dawn of DC, number 56. Very nice. And Wolverine foil, number one reprint. Oh, my here. goodness. People out there, you watching. Look at all these. It's prize, but we're not done. And the Night Terrors Detective Comics 1 in 25 Hamner variants. 9.6. Beautiful. Thank you, Cliff. But we're not. But wait, there's more. Go ahead, C Bizzle. Show them what you got. So we got Immortal Hulk, issue number 20, the black white variant. Very nice. We have Cage, issue number one. I can dig it. We have Cable and Deadpool, issue number 17. Dope. We have X-Force, number one, with uh, Sunspot and Gideon parts inside. Holly bag. N never been open. We have Rogue and Gambit, issue number one. Excellent. We have Absolute Carnage, Miles Morales, issue number one. And as a bonus, it has Pokemon cards in it. 
Oh, oh. Very bomb oh. <laughs> And then we have Deadpool issue number five, the garbage pail variant. Nice. And if we hit 25 viewers today, I have Vader down, issue number one. Excellent. We have a couple of negative space Star Wars. This one. Sarge Ventures. And then and the Darth Maul. Very, very nice. Very nice. Are you guys watching all of have you see did you see all this guys? Did you see all of it? You Get see all the prize? Five and I'll throw in another book too. Oh. Whoa. So bring it bring it in, people. Bring it in. So much, but we're not done. I got two little beauties here. I got Hopper and Eleven. They're also going into the package. Hopper and Eleven, little mini Funkos. So get into that comment section. Hashtag Shalabal to win your first duck. If we get over 25, we got extra prizes that we're getting in there. So call up your peoples and get them on the show. All right? What is, uh, uh, what is Shalabal? Uh, what is that? Shalabal. Oh, Phil, you haven't been on the scene. You don't know about the craziness that's going on? Phil, it's horrible. Shalabal is Norrin Rad, a.k.a. Silver Surfer's love interest, who apparently will be the Silver Surfer female that will be introduced in the Fantastic Four movie, Oh, Not this is what's like crazy. driving the internet like crazy right now. Like yes, Silver Surfer is a girl. Oh, in her first appearance as a surfer, which was a dollar bin book only weeks ago, is now selling for about sixty nine dollars raw. And I have caught everyone up on this fiasco. You're welcome, internet. Well, can't hear you. We should, you, we should more on. of this. Like, touch us up in like the internet drama in thirty seconds or less. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them now, ladies and gentlemen. Tell that was them brilliant. Now. Like, I, you saved me like a, like four hours of internet videos. Yeah. <laughs> you, I saved you four hours of internet bullcrap. I saved you a whole morning of drama. I saved you everything. <laughs> Let's see who's oh, in, the, is in the chat. Las Cruces, as always, is in the house. Thank you for joining us, Brian LCS. Hey, Brian. He says hello from South Carolina. Thank you for joining us, Brian. Meet wide number one. Good evening. How are you today, my friend? Jay Margolis is in the house. Thank you for joining us. Big L, Larry Jackson, as always, is in the house. Thank you for joining us. Jason Ruger is in the house. Thank you for joining us. Dagger Cards is in the house. He says, congrats on 200 subs. See, Bizzle. Kenneth Bird is in the house. Thank you for joining us. JG is in the house. Thank you for joining us. Hey. All right. All right. All right. So, you know, you got hashtag Shalabal. Let's get that going in the comment section. And while we're doing that, uh, what do we read this week? Oh, you know what? I finally read. I, fi I finally read the last issue of X-Force. I did too. I caught up on X Force this week. Yes. I, didn't pick it. I didn't pick that up. I got to pick it up. Was it satisfying? Oh my God, why? Why are you doing this uh, to me? I was going to say, like, I'm I don't sorry. know how you feel, Cliff, but <laughs> I, I, I was like four behind and I read them all this week. I read them all and it was great. Yeah, I thought like X Force was just this whole arc of X Force was really solid. With uh... it, was a, it was so good. I was like, how did X Force become my favorite book? But yes, I mean, very important. The week of Ghost Machine. Mm. The best comics that came out on the market. 48 pages, 30 something pages after the ads, $3.99 each. The art was stellar. The stories were magnificent. They have the best review rating on League of Comic Geeks. And Jeff Johns has been touring his white little ass off the United States promoting this. I have no more words to say. Just great job, everybody. Great job. No, sir. I didn't pick it up. <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh... Well, guess what? You better get a move on it because already Redcoat's first appearance shot up to $40 raw. Um, the Geiger 80 page giant shot up to 40 raw. And what was it? Geiger I'm number one? I'm out. Geiger I'm already out. I'm not paying yeah, 40 bucks. They're already up. Out. Go out. Go get them. Oh, wait, they might be like sitting there at Alterniverse like tomorrow. <laughs> Y'all need to snatch it up. Snatch that up. And don't forget. That, like, um, don't forget Junkyard Joe, folks. Go get your Junkyard Joe. My pockets can only maintain so many universes. But, but that's okay. Just Boy stop rivals. Yeah. Boy, Boy, I read that last night. Yeah, I picked uh, it up. Pretty dope. 
Pretty dope. Uh, you know, you know very the dope. The ending. Like, yeah. the ending of Royd Rivals. Like, good cliffhanger for yeah. the next issue. Very, very dope. Oh. Um, My book, The Last Mermaid, number two. Dope. This is a great book. Like, this is going to be a great book. I can kind of feel it. All right. I keep seeing it. I haven't picked it up yet, but I have seen it. This is a storm cover. But oh. X-Men 33. My LCS didn't have that. I, um, that. I mean, Fall of House of X is moving along. Yep. Moving along. Um, the Annika Cola. I kind of like how Emma Frost is doing like the, the Warriors type thing. Hey, y'all, muties out there. Like she's doing like the radio thing, talking mm-hmm. to everybody. That's pretty cool. And um, I guess Avengers was pretty good because it now Avengers is linked into the fall of the House of X. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty I, dope. I'm so mad about that because it was off my radar. That book is entirely off my radar. It's the only thing that Jeff McCain's doing that I'm not interested in. And then it's like, oh, look, it's a Fall of X crossover. And I'm like, mm. yeah. Because Tony now said, who, now look who's hurting somebody's feelings. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, what? Because, what? Because I've told you from day one, this Avengers kind of sucks and I'm not feeling it and they need a better writer. You know, wow. now, now Jeff McCain. You're not McCain, allowed to do that clip. You're not allowed to shit on somebody because that someone put a lot of heart and soul into that. And you should just <laughs> let somebody else die. Oh. Listen, listen, I thought we were guy held it's that paper not, up there. It's, <laughs> not a, it's not a bullshit. It's not receipts, a people, Every receipts. That, you jump all over it. Uh, but uh, the Avengers was really good because Tony his, says his, his, his Moon Knight is lovely. Uh, Tony tells the Avengers, Remember when I told you to, to wait until I say. Let's do this. And he, he's like, okay, now let's do this. And so now the Avengers are going out and like destroying all these little spots and bases and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, oh, yeah. Moon Knight. Cliff, you talked about it, like you were in love yes! with Yes. Yes. Moon Knight is revealed to be the, the Shroud. shroud. <laughs> when was the last time the Shroud was in comics? Uh, Avengers uh, Initiative is what I remember. Yeah. Daredevil. He was in Daredevil run a um, couple of months of uh, volumes ago. Mm. Wasn't he in... Oh, I can't remember what he was in. He was in like another crossover recent-ish. He, was he one of the monsters of the Hulk? No. Because uh, mm. the Shroud, although he there is a mystical component to him, when he was created, he was essentially Batman. Because uh, yeah. Steve Englehart and Herb Trimpey created him for... Uh, super villain team up, which number five is his first appearance. Surprise, everyone! And um, and so I don't know, but like every but other people just didn't really feel like using him, and he's like because he's like another Batman knockoff. I don't. Know. But mm. the, fa- the fact is, I think it's hilarious because Moon Knight is a Batman like almost clone, and now you got Shroud who's a Batman almost clone being Moon Knight. I think it's great. Yeah. All right. Anybody read Batman? I was reading it last night and then I kind of fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, because you know what, Phil? Because it could be better. It could be better. All right. I don't listen. Chip is just playing it out. First of all, we need a new rule. Everyone stop writing 10th level intelligence and higher because you, the writer, are not 10th level intelligence and higher. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you're going to write a 10th level intelligence, please phone a friend. Okay. Mm-hmm. Please. Please phone a friend. Wait, you thought it was jumping around too much? Dude, because it's ridiculous. It's like, oh, Failsafe, uh, Zurinar is so intelligent. Failsafe is so smart. Failsafe took out the whole Justice League in one city block, blah, 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 blah. And then he's got this weird, crazy hollow thing going on. And he's like, he's like, it's like, it's me, Damien. It's like, you're not my dad. And it's like, it's like, no, I am your dad. I've defeated Failsafe. Come on, let's go out and fight crime. And I'm like, oh my God, really? Like, this is what we're doing? Damien buys this. Damien, who couldn't buy that dead man was his dad for two seconds. He's going to buy this. I'm not having it. Not to mention they're just dragging this along for the summer crossover between Brainiac, th- whatever Brainiac, we're at, Brainiac Queen, right? Uh, Zurinar slash Failsafe, whatever the hell he is now, and Amanda Waller. The biggest <laughs> Oh my here, God, Cliff. I've never heard you talk like this about DC. The- the biggest disgrace here yeah, is you we have. Got, I know. We I got have. two. We got two. We got two technological super marvels. Two technological super marvel villains. Okay, both tenth level intelligence and higher. 
and Amanda Waller. And I'm supposed to believe that Amanda Waller, not a 10th level intelligence or higher character in the DC universe ever, ever. Do you think Superman will be able to beat Failsafe? Well, after his ass got wiped by Kryptonite on a city block, I don't know. I, and then, I mean, Brainiac is launching an attack tomorrow with a freaking army of Lobo clones. I mean, you tell me, all right? That's Lobo how we're kicking clones. things off. You know, that's how we're kicking off the, the house the house of Brainiac. So these are interesting villains, but you got to write to that level and you got to be very clever, okay? And the thing is, is it's just not as clever as I would like it to be right at all um some of these things are disservice to the character and then i'm supposed to look over look forward to this crossover event how can i look forward to your end game event this summer when don't i'm get attached, barely Cliff. hanging on the ride i'm barely oh. hanging on the ride and y'all have been attached. Jerking, jerking my chain jerking my amanda waller chain for over a freaking year now and you know what i used to like her i thought she was great and oh she's got all these victories yeah but they're like it's so like like ridiculous, you know? Like they're so they're so like contrived. Like it doesn't feel earned. It just feels like, well, this is what the writer wanted. And so here we are, you know? She's a like, freaking Like idiot. Dagger Card says, tell us how you really feel, Cliff. Oh my god, don't even get me started on freaking Trigon Raven. Okay. Listen, don't don't get attached, Cliff, because this is all getting uh, it's getting rebooted. So like Joey, and like I felt this way reading the little bit of Batman that I read the other night, and like Joey was right about Detective Comics is like the 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 entry level right now into Batman is like so high without getting like immediately lost. And on the Detective Comics, it's high, and look at Detective and like Comics. the Batman comics, it's like just as equally high now. Like reading Batman was just like you know like, and I've read the last bunch of this, and even I'm like, man, this is like. It's like high level, for it's like crazy. a Batman. And you see what's happening in Detective Comics? Vandal Savage busted his way, a busted, bloody knuckled, shirtless way out of prison, matted blood hair, and ha host a press conference. And it's like, it's like, I've been oppressed by your system. I'm running for mayor. The Court of Owls starts jizzing all over. It's like, we'll support you. I'm like, what is this? Someone what? tell me what this is. Someone tell me what this is. It's called There's a Reboot Coming. <laughs> they need that reboot. They need that reboot. And you know what? Unlike the last time, unlike the last time, I want this Which reboot. last time? Unlike the <laughs> one like three <laughs> minutes ago. Unlike the new 52, I want this to only affect Batman. I want y'all to have Why a taste. On Batman? I, I think it's time that DC does a complete reboot. They, That's what I yeah. think. No, please, no, they please, please. Oh no, they God. don't though. They keep yeah. keeping other stuff and like like the 52. Let's say new 52, right? I'm going in thinking they rebooted. But no, all the Batman stories still exist in the universe. And yeah. Yeah. All the Green Lantern ones. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what is it? The uh, Dawn of DC. Yeah, Batman is yeah. not at the dawn at all. Batman yeah. is like right in the middle of this three year arc. Of... Yeah. yeah, exactly. Batman is like, oh, I've been busy, you guys. What have you been doing? And they're like, uh, rediscovering ourselves since the universe <laughs> was reconstructed. What have you been doing? Oh, well, I was part of the universe reconstruction, but Listen. also like my catalog. When, of when Batman got a Robot hand. I said it's time to reboot. <laughs> it's time to reboot when you got. And that was like hand. you know what, and that would have been probably a good time because it was right around Batman 900, and they had like that epic Batman 900, and that could have been like boom, like yep. reboot time. Exactly. Yeah. Like X Force had no problem rebooting Beast by issue 50. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> we'll take See, care of this. Like, we got and you. I'm a DC guy, but. The, the problem with DC is that they keep rebooting it and keep rebooting it and keep rebooting it. Marvel, for all its for all its flaws, they're not perfect either. Even when they reboot, they're like, nope, it still all happened. Yeah, so we'll yeah. figure out the way to make it all work. Yeah. DC's like, well, some of this is good, some of it's not. Yeah. We'll, you know. And then they bring it all back again. Like sometimes they do, back. sometimes they don't. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, DC, gotta love them. All right, I we got 14 people in the chat. I got 10 people on. Da, 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 da. Got 10 entries. I'm gonna give you 15 seconds. And we're gonna do our first duck drawing of the night. Um, because we gotta fly by with this. Dun, dun, dun. We got like almost over 20 books, guys. A slab, Funko Pops, 
so much going on. So, so, so much. I'm going to try to create a list this week so that we can just have something that's up and people can just see what we're doing so we don't have to go through that all the time. But 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Draw. Ooh, we'll win our first deck of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Round and round to go where it lands on, nobody knows. And Jay Margolis, congratulations. Oh, he, that's his second first. duck. You got his second duck, my friend. Oh, you're up there. Good job. Good job. All right, let's get over here. Do, 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 do. I need. I need another hashtag. Phil, you haven't been in a while. What should the next hashtag be? What was today? Eclipse. Eclipse. Who's the eclipse? Right, let, me get this. let me get it in here real quick. Pause. Is that group? Anybody, you guys get out there with your glasses? Little glasses? I did. Yeah, I got out there. I got home. I was surprised we were able to see it. Like, I was like, wow, usually we would be the cloudy ones to not see anything. That's it. Well, and then there's parts of, see, my, I grew up in Rochester. There's parts of Rochester where they completely overcast during the full, uh, the full, uh, occlusion or whatever it's called now. So that they, yeah. they saw it leading up to it, but they couldn't see the, the one that everyone wants to see where you get the ring. Yeah. We, uh, we had a total eclipse. I'm here in Dallas. So, oh, did you? Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I saw the complete eclipse. It was, it was like, it was like 10 PM at night at one thirty in the afternoon. Right on. Hmm. Very nice, very nice. All right, so it's hashtag Eclipse that is in the comment section uh, for the next duck. And we are heading I into... can't tell what you look like with those glasses on, see, because I'll drive to the side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember, if we get more than 25 in the live chat, we've got uh, three special books from C. Bizzle that will be added into the prize. And two from me. And two surprise ones, clips that we don't know yet, but we shall see. Um, all right. Here we go, Key Collector. Oh, I love God. Key Collector because, because they were trolled recently on Instagram, and they actually had a laugh about it, and I respect that. <laughs> we got Action Comics number 1064, House of Brainiac, part one. Introduction of an army of Z Zar Zarnians. Zarnians. The race of Lobo. This will yes. cost you five dollars. Seven ninety nine for the foil cover if you're interested. Who's uh? All right. So do so the event starts this week. Like do yep. or die. Are yep. you guys getting the House of Brainiac event? No. Oh, I, of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> I can't it. If, I don't, if I'm not invested in it, I, I, do I have a right to bitch at all? Let's be honest. Sure. I'm on the fence with extra comics, but we'll, I'm already collecting Superman, so. Mm. Okay. We got some variants. We got. Uh, what about you, chat guys? Are you going to do the House of Rainiac event? Let us know in the chat. This is the one in 25. Not, uh, it, 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 are, is no one tired of Superman fighting Brainiac? And that's I saw I was you event? took the words right out of my mouth. If like you can fight somebody else. Or, yeah. Or yeah. here's a better idea: as a writer, create someone else for him to fight. What is he gonna have? Is he gonna have another city yeah. in his ship? Is he gonna have another city from Krypton? Right. Look at this 800 city I've hidden. That's oh, still Candor. <laughs> that's still Candor. I feel the same uh, way about Batman always fighting Joker. Exactly. And by yeah, the way, but they really Lex Luthor. Yeah, Luthor. Yeah, but at least Joker me. So up Superman's butt all the time. The one who bores me to death is Lex Luthor. Yeah. So oh, the fact that Lex quick, is. Quick side note. Uh, did you hear about Superman the movie? Yeah, Lex yeah. is the villain. Oh! Shocking. No, no, but did you hear who the other villain is? is yeah. Lex is Lex no. going to do a clone game again? Clone man. No, they already shot that down. No, no, no they did not shoot no. that down. <laughs> yes, he said. He said Bizarro and Ultraman are not villains in this. No, movie. no, 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 no. no it's, it's not it's Ultraman. Not, it's not Ultraman or Bizarro. It says yeah. Clone Superman. It's the Clone Evil Superman. Yeah. How original. Let's keep going. So, so it's not Bizarro. It's not. It's not <laughs> Ultraman. It's a third 
Cone yeah. of Superman. So, so is Lex going to do a, a, a some kind of shady land deal again for now the fourth time in Superman movies? Probably. No, no, That's no, no, no. He's, he's just going to have evil Superman because it's great. It's, it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these variants are not. Uh, eh. Jeez, is that yeah, right? okay? A lot of detail. I don't think I'm gonna do this event. Oh, I like that color. either. I'm gonna be honest. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna lot, have to on this one. That's a lot. All right, next up, Edge of Spider Verse number three, first appearance yes. of Star Spider. Yes, I'm getting that. Up. I like that. Nope. I'm already collecting the the run already, so I'm, I'm getting this. I may pick up the design variant. But yes. This will be the one up. in ten. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yep. One in ten. Yep. Very nice. Side note: I hate spiders, but I like <laughs> spiders. I've grown to love spiders. Kamaria thinks I'm weird, but I don't kill them anymore. I like capture them idiot. and I let them loose. No, Why? They're dead, on site. they're dead on site in my house. No, no. <laughs> I, th- there's a so long story short. There's a spot that I walk by every morning on the way to uh, to go out for work, and there's a light there. And I, in this time of year, I end up killing at least one wolf spider a week. And oh, I leave the, I you leave murderer! The, I leave the carcass there to warn yes. all the other ones out. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> this god! Is what That's out. what I do too. Yeah. What? You are a hundred times bigger than the spider. That it's, don't matter. Don't matter. It don't matter. Jeez. You, you shouldn't. You don't, don't come out if this is not what you want. Exactly. <laughs> Green shirt exactly guy keeps a gangster on I his block. I don't like spiders, and I want them to all go. <laughs> yeah. I respect right. you so much, sir. Uh, there's a Gwen Stacy variant. <laughs> That's, that's, that's the that's edge of the Spider Verse in Green Shirt Guys universe. <laughs> 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 spider Verse. <laughs> the true Spider Slayer. Green Shirt Guy. Uh, the one in 50. I'm going to spend 50 bucks on that. Right. Yo, I, the Tony I'm Daniel one is so hot, though. Which one's yeah. the Tony Daniel one? The one in 50. And, one in 50. and by the way, there is a trade variant of it, by the mm-hmm. way. But the one in 50, if you are look, if you are a cover collector, this is this should be on your target list this week. But this is the thing. I don't like one in 50s that, like, say there's a cover for it, and they just take away the logo and make it a one in 50. I hate Again, it. I, ag- I agree with you, but this is not about what I like. This is about what is hot, and that one is hot. <laughs> mm, indeed. Um, then you got the Star Wars one right there. Again, yeah. another Star Wars. Uh, trade, just like you said. All right. Next up, Rat City number one. Oh. What the heck is this? First appearance of Peter Karnan, an ex-soldier who received the spawn powers from the nanites in his prosthetic legs and lives in a post-war future. Spawn 2099, baby. Spawn yep. 29, you said it just Thank right. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I'm definitely getting it. But 299? Yeah, yeah, you can't go wrong. Yeah, I got. I can't go wrong for that. No, I think it's three ninety nine. I think it's four. Oh. Uh, he's got one variant. What's the variant? Oh, coming soon. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Sinister Sons number three. First appearance of Spaceman Joe. Stalked from below by Spaceman Joe. Doom, doom, doom. Doom. What is going on here? Who are these two guys down here? Like he the uh, Sinestro like, Sons. It's Zod Son, Lord Zod, and Sinestro Son, Sinestro. Sinestro, yeah, what? sorry. What? Sinestro. What? What, are we, what? Yeah. Dude, they're not even new. Where have you been? <laughs> I read one D book, Batman. That's it. The best one. That's all I do. Not always. Hey, no. Uh, it's, all right. always, it's always the best of out of yeah. Ultimate X Men number two, the X Men non X Men book. First appearance of Maystorm. Yeah. It'll cost you five dollars. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna that. get that one. That is the key. Yep. I mean, part one was really good. Um, I just need more X Men, man. I can't, you know, give me. Well, give me I more have, like, I, I want to give it a shot because I truly, truly believe in my heart they're using the young ones to bring in the X Men. So we'll yeah. see. Hmm. You don't really want to keep buying it too, uh, Cliff. We got the one in Just 10. Just like that, like, two-page spread of Peach Momoko with all those X-Men, like... Yeah. <laughs> that no, watercolor. But the story, the, the first issue was pretty good, though. I'm not going to lie. 
It was. It was. It was very different, and it was good. I liked that it. it was different. Um, here's the one in 25. I have all the ultimates in my pull box, so. As soon as they um, come out, I get them. Here's a regular like that variant. One. That's a real nice one. That is pretty good. And, who the cat with the red eyes. This is a dope mm -hmm. one, too. Mm -hmm. This I is agree. a dope one. Ooh, I really like that one. That's really mm -hmm. dope. Um, special. Why does it say special? Is this a store variant? Probably the one. That's nice. All right. All right. Oh, we got a little throwback to the ultimate right. back in the days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. That's the store exclusive right there. All right. And those are your keys, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure they'll add more on later. Because, you know, that's just how Key Collector does. We got 15, <laughs> we got 15 in the live too? chat. We got nine entries. 25 to get some extra books. Let's jump on over to cover price. Top 20. Uh, we got X-Men 282, first bishop. Mm -hmm. About 35 yeah. bucks. Uh, number 19, we got the first Galactus. Yep. I'd uh, love to have that. Uh, that's a big one. Yeah. Uh, Dazzler, first ongoing series. Hell yeah. yeah. Classic right I there. Wolverine, number eight. Classic yeah. cover with him and Joe Fixit. Um, slab 9.8 for 380. Very nice. Batman the Killing Joke, 9.8. Two hundred twenty-four dollars. Which one though? Is that the? That's the first printing. Oh, okay. That's the first print. That's like a hard uh, book to have a nine point eight because that was that thicker like yes. square bound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred oh. uh, percent. Number fifteen, X Men two sixty six first quote unquote appearance of Gambit. It's Gambit's uh, first cover appearance, if nothing else. True. There we go. That no, take. he's not. He's not on the cover of the. Uh, he's not on the cover of the annual with with, uh, yes, with what's his name. Yes, he is. Is he really? Yep, he is. Oh, that's it's sad. A classic, it's a classic AA cover, so I've analyzed it very, very much. <laughs> um, number 14, we have Spawn 1. Spawn Diggy. Gotta love him. Uh, 13, Jubilee's first appearance, X-Men 244. Um, here's one that's coming out. The uh, Dave Stevens. The DN Agents. DNA Is it... DNA agents or DNA gents? No, DNA agents. Right. Right. Yeah. So wait, really, I couldn't find the reason for this, for the sudden blow up on this. So, like, what is the deal? I don't, I, I'm trying to figure that out myself. Something big with Dave Stevens. All his little, his artwork is starting to, uh, starting to blow up. Um, Geiger number one, a nine eight mm -hmm. went for sixty bucks. That's not yeah. bad. I think I'd buy a nine eight. Right, it's Geiger. still oh, affordable. It's early time to get those keys. That's what I'm yeah. getting now. All right, top ten. Here we go. Geiger number one, the eighty page variant with the red coat cover. Yeah. Um, raw mm -hmm. forty five bucks. Ultimate yeah. Black Panther number one, at number nine, a nine eight went for eighty six dollars. Uh, number eight, super villain team up number five. I first believe shroud, shroud. Baby. Yep, first round. <laughs> Here's the cover A for Geiger. I picked up two very fines for ten bucks each. Nice. I jumped all okay. over it. <laughs> very nice. And number six, the Silver Surfer. Number hey, five, what? What if Beast and the Thing continue to mutate? This is actually the first appearance of. Shala Ball becoming a herald, but not the Silver Surfer. That's okay. why that's Mario. Yeah. Um, a book we gave away with one of our prizes, X Men 24. <laughs> Going for about 20 Number bucks. Four. Number four, jumping up there, right? X Men oh. 229, first uh, cover appearance of Mr. Sinister and the first cover appearance of Madeline Pryor as the Goblin Queen. That's blowing up. 9 8 for 250, yo. A 9 8 for 250 for this book. Wow. It's great. Great Sylvester cover right there. Oh, number two, Evangeline. Big yeah. news on this. Uh, Margot Robbie's production team 
has teamed up with Olivia Wilde and Simon Kinberg, and they're going to make this Rob Liefeld project. Ooh, Why scary. they chose this project, I have no idea. But that those are big names in this book it, right now. Yeah, Bull was taken, man. <laughs> <laughs> they have so much. Like he's got profit. He's got so many other things. Right, profit um, is a thing for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. And then number one on the list, Earth X number one, going for about seventy bucks. First appearance of Shalabal as a Silver Surfer. Along with Norn Rad, the industry, man. If anything, it, it makes us talk about comics. If anything, that is true. You know what I mean? It makes us talk about comics. Um, it's in a dollar bin somewhere. Yeah, it definitely is. So if you can hold out there, there's X set somewhere out there. Definitely, definitely. Uh, do 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 do. All right, let's give away our second duck of the night. Eclipse, we got 14 in the chat, 10 entries. I'm going to give you about 15 seconds. Get some comments in here. Larry Jackson says in that Ultimate X book, that character appeared in the anime. Ah, oh, it's very interesting. Very interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it. I don't think so. No. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And go! Who will win duck number two for the night, ladies and gentlemen? Round and round it goes. Where that wheel stops, nobody knows. Let's see the comic vet. Comic vet Congratulations, comic vet. You have won yourself a duck. You will be entered into the end of the month contest. Remember to tune in. We got, we got another Canadian up in here. We got another <laughs> Canadian up in here. We got, we got two Canadians in this race. We got Dagger and we got Chris the Comic Vet. Woo! Woo! Pirate ship helping you. Jeez. <laughs> uh, All right, let's move on to the... Oh, wait. Before we move on. Got to get another hashtag. Let me get this banner out of here. Uh, let's see. Green shirt guy. You haven't given us a hashtag. Ooh, let's go with Cliff is wrong. <laughs> Cliff is wrong. Oh, my goodness. I love, I love, quotes. I love quotes from a parallel universe. <laughs> <laughs> I love Cliff's facial expressions. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Hashtag Cliff is wrong. <laughs> Oddly enough, though, it's funny he's on the movie show. We've been agreeing about everything lately. Yeah, I know. I can't believe you. Cliff is wrong. I'm like, really? Because we've been agreeing. We've been agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> but hashtag Cliff is Cliff is wrong to get there to get our third duck of the night, ladies and gentlemen. I'll put it up here in the banner below, and then we will move on. CBSI Hot 10. Oh, music a little bit. Mm, 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 Action Comics right. number one, 8.5. Sold for $6 million. Who, yeah, but... Baller book right there. <laughs> $6 million. So listen, so if, I had I one, one, if I had one that last Powerball, that comic will be mine. Facts. Facts on well, facts. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was a billion dollars. That would be mine too. So, yeah. so Shaq opened up his his vault, is what we're saying? Because he owns like <laughs> six, seven or eight. Of them. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Like if if that's on sale, that means that somebody with a with that has a lot of money is just selling crap. There are two nine point oh's out there. Really? Oh, wow. Yep. Somebody was, kept that book in pristine condition as that. a kid. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> right? so, some people were having problems with uh, heritage because. They put this out there, and immediately after this, this one got sold. They put up that there was they had a nine point oh ready to go. Oh and, really? Yeah. And they everybody felt bad for the guys spent six million on the eight point five. I don't feel bad for somebody who had six million to toss away on an eight point five. Right. Back. You know? Yeah, like when, like the, the 9.0 is going to... Now that this sold for $6 million, you know the 9.0 is going for like 
10. You know the 9.0 will go for 10 because because I do believe I do believe it's right. I'm, I do believe this is a bit of a conspiracy and I do believe that this was this was to test the waters so that we could get that nine at 10 million and you know bring the hype train. You know, yeah, but it is hashtag Cliff is wrong. So we'll wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> I think Cliff might be right so about young, that. So <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bill. <laughs> yeah, you're always gonna sell the 8.5 to see what you could get, and then like you're gonna open like yeah, then let so they got a nine, they're gonna open up bidding at like mm -hmm. seven point five million dollars and yeah. Jeez. All so right. Superman lover is going to raise their hand. <laughs> uh, the next honorable mention is the 3D zone number 16, a 9.8 sold for 2,500. Space fixings. All right. Now we got the top 10. Avengers annual number 10. Um, this is the first appearance of Rogue. Mm -hmm. And Madeline Pryor. And yeah. Madeline Pryor. Um, As a child, but they don't put that on there, and it pisses me off. 9.8. Let's say Madeline Pryor in there. Good for them. Nine, a 9.8 for 7.50. Mine is not a 9.8. I'll tell you that. Mine mm. is like a copy you could still read. <laughs> <laughs> um, Geiger, 80-page giant, number one. Yeah. Talked about that already. Batman, 89, number one, jumping on the list. Hey. Highs of about 20 bucks. I have that book. I only got issue one of it. It was a great series. The first okay. series, Batman yeah. '89, was a great series. It was. It's the perfect sequel to Batman Returns. Okay. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. X Men Uncanny X Men Annual Number Seventeen. This is the first appearance of the Executioner, who appeared in X Men '97. Uh, oh, Average about fifteen dollars on this one. I need to look for that one. Yeah, I got my dollar bin copy ten feet away. <laughs> X-Men number 24 a classic little rogue and gambit cover Rawls are hitting about 25 even topped out about 35 Uncanny X-Men 239 we spoke about um, 9 8's 250 she's super villain team up number 5 we talked about Shroud Silver Surfer number 1 Planet Comics mm. Dave Stevens dropping one spot from last week um we got to find out what, what this is all about. We got to find out. If you, if you guys in the chat know what this is about, drop it in the chat. Why are Dave Stevens' books just blowing up right now? Um, and number one, Earth X. That's the number one. Yep. Um, number so one. dumb. Mm -hmm. Wow. There, I, my, I, have so many, I have so many pet peeves. But my biggest pet peeve, my biggest pet peeve, right? is why why is it the community at large and i'm not saying everybody i'm saying the community at large will trash trash characters trash ideas but somehow no i've said i've seen almost no one i've seen like three percent of the people i know out there go oh let's give shallow ball a chance 97 percent of you are like this is garbage why are we doing this i want norn rad i've loved the character for 30 years blah 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 right so after all that trash talk, but how is her book? How is that dollar bin book now $69? This is garbage spec. Just wait, because this will blow over. It'll be right back in the dollar bin, right next to Juno. So no I one said falls unless in the beginning. Unless there's always the probability that Cliff is wrong because, <laughs> <laughs> because it what if it's a phenomenal thing they do in the movie? What if she's explosive and everybody's like Wow, that was dope. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Disney, Marvel, Kevin Feige, that beautiful young woman who's playing Shalabal. I'd love to see you in it. I'd like to all be like, that was dope. <laughs> right? I would love that. I would love that. I would I, leave listen. that theater going, oh my God, what a magical experience. Listen, everybody's shooting at me and everything, like too much trust going on. I'm telling you, Deadpool versus and Wolverine is going to start a new era. The next hashtag is Sam, is Sam is wrong, everybody. Hashtag Sam is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Sam, you have, no business, you have no business trusting Marvel DC. You have no business trusting James Gunn. Do not trust these people. They deserve oh, nothing. Who trusts James Gunn? 
You no, work for Hot Mitt. No, 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 me. negative. I'm negative. Going to replace. Great sugar, negative. are you working on this one? Not on gun. What? He, he yeah, has... I was never on the gun train. Oh, you've been on the gun train. Because I've been, I don't know if I'm going to say it. Remember I used to say it was the same guns. Hi, Sean. So... I'm not really thinking. You do have the you do have like a lot of hope for Deadpool. <laughs> I do. I do, man. Like, yeah. I'm putting all the cards. I'm putting you all really the are. over it. And I, I mean I, I if it doesn't hit, you're gonna look really dumb. Oh my goodness. By the way, I wanna say hi to Sean. Sean has a Sean has a podcast called Above the Bar Podcast. Go check that out. He's on Facebook, he's on the YouTubes, he's on the Instagram, he's everywhere. <laughs> Mm, Larry says, I never said anything about her because at this point I don't trust or care anything Marvel. Wow. It's nothing. Wow. See, I'm somewhere between like Sam and Larry. I'm like, right, <laughs> somewhere in like the middle of there. It's like Clifford is right. <laughs> Clifford um, is right. Maybe Survivalist says, EarthX Wizard Special is her first appearance according to Thoreau. Hmm. Very interesting. Go hunt that down. Yeah, I was about to say, go have fun hunting hunt that down. Go, go to the Bella band. You know, that's going to be like a $4,000 book. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's time to go over all the new books this week, ladies and gentlemen. Sam, are you trying to talk? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's coming out hard. Hard. It's called laggy internet. I don't know what you could do about it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, really I'm wired, wired in. <laughs> so you say. Maybe it's my basement apartment. I've seen no evidence <laughs> of this. <laughs> Um, all right, here we go. All the new books coming out this week, March 10th. We'll do our duck final duck drawing after this. We got 20 in the live chat, 22 in the Ooh. live chat, 25, Ooh. and we'll get those extra books in there. Let's get those extra more. things in there. All right, here we go. Aliens, what if number two? The amazing, oh, 23. The amazing Spider Man, number 47. Beneath oh, the trees the where them. nobody sees. Number five. Betty and Veronica's Jumbo Comics Digest, number 323. Big Ethel Energy Season 2, number 60. The Cabinet, number three. <coughs> Carnage, number six. Count Crowley's Mediocre Midnight Monster Hunter, number three. The Crying Boy, number two. Dark Spaces Dungeons, number five. Dead Weights, number one. Dungeons and Dragons, The Thief of Many Things, number one. Earth Divers, number 16. Edge of Spider-Verse, number three. Fairy Tale Team Up, Robin Hood and Gretel, number one. Fantastic Four, 19. Haunted Horse, Haunted Horse, ha Haunted House, A Love Story, number five. Hercules, number one. Hex Paw, Left Paw of the Devil, number three. House of Slaughter, number 22. Oh, yes, I'm a big fan of that. I Hate Fairyland, number 13. That's a green shirt guy pick right that's there. My, that's my book, yeah. Ice Canyon Monsters, number three. The Incredible Hulk, number 11. The best Marvel horror book out there right now on the market. If you like horror, pick that up. Invincible Iron Man, number 17. Continuing the House of the Fall of X. Jennifer Blood, Battle Diary, number five. Jim Henson's Labyrinth Archive Edition, number one. The Land Left Behind, number one. A Legacy of Violence, number 12. Little Black Book, number two. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, The Return, number three. Monsters Are My Business and Business is Bloody, number one. <laughs> Miss Marvel Mutant Menace, number two. My Little Pony, Set Your Sail, number one. Napalm Lullaby, number two. Nottingham, number 11. Phantom Road, number 10. Rat City, a.k.a. Spawn 2099, number one. Resurrection of Magneto, number four. Yes. Mm -hmm. I look forward to that. Uh, the Scorpion, number eight. Silicone Bandits, number one. Fate Mercy Godland, number one. Star Trek Explorer, number 11. 
Star Wars Darth Vader number 45. Yes. Star Wars The High Republic number 6. Yes. Star Wars Thrawn Alliances number 4. Yes. Still number 1. Sweet Candy Vigilante number 2. Symbiote Spider-Man 2099 number 2. Thundercats number 3. TMNT Best of Alopex number 1. Man, they continue with these covers. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. It's your favorite. Uh-oh. Castle Key Transformers number 7. What craziness is going to happen in the Energon universe this time? Ultimate X-Men number 2. Uncanny Valley number 1. Unnatural Order number 4. The Valley of Death Usher of the Dead number 1. Weapon X-Men number 2. When the Blood Has Dried number 1. Wolverine number 47. Continuing the Sabretooth War. X-Men 97 number 2. Will Morph show up? I don't know. Will Cliff be mad action comics number 1064 the batman first night number two batman dylan dog number two batman and robin number eight yeah Yeah. batman and robin and howard number two no green lantern number 10 night people number two outsiders number six red hood the hill number three sinister sons number three speed force number six Suicide Squad, Dream Team, number two. Law Olympus, number 272. My Hero Academia, number 419. Red Sonia, Empire of the Damned, number one. That's a Glickman. House of Slaughter, number 21. Second print. Okay. I I Heart Skull Crusher, number one, second print. Um. Night People's, number one, second print. What If Venom, number one, second print. What If Venom, number one, second print. The... Lenio Francis U variant, but wasn't that that was the first print? So okay, the six figures number one, Cemetery Kids Don't Die number one, Bloodborne the Bleak Dominion number four, The Hand number one, Thundercats number one, third printing one in ten, David Nakayama. Oh my God! Then you have a third printing one in ten, third printing regular, all and then the foil. And then you have Ultimate Black Panther, third printing, one in 25. Ultimate Black Panther, number one, third printing, the Peach Momoko variant. And the Ultimate Spider-Man, number one, fourth print, blank variant. I won't get that. Ultimate Spider-Man, number one, fourth print, the Marco Chiquetto variant. Ultimate Spider-Man, number one, fourth print, the Comic Corner in Huck Lee, black costume, virgin variant. Ultimate Spider-Man, number one, fourth printing, the Comic Corner in Huck Lee, virgin variant. What are we doing? (laughs) (laughs) Bloodborne the Bleak number three Bloodborne the Bleak number two Bloodborne the Bleak number one The Brave and the Bold number 54 The Brave and the Bold number 54 Blank The Brave and the Bold number 54 Cover C foil And those ladies and gentlemen Are all your books coming out (laughs) On April 10th This Wednesday 2024 What are you guys getting out there? Please leave in the comments. 24 in the live chat. We need one more to get those books. One more in the live chat. Who will be able to get it? Will he be able to get it? Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. The suspense is crazy. The suspense is crazy. Call your friends. Call your friends. We need one more. One more to get two awesome negative space variants from the Star Wars universe and the Saj Ventress and a Darth Maul. And two and secret Vader. variants. Oh, and two other secret variants from Cliff. I mean, those 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 negative space are already wild. They're already wild, people. Ooh, 24. You know what? I'm feeling generous. No, don't feel generous. 25 people. 25. It's 25! Cliff is wrong! There it goes. Uh, this is not about being wrong this time. I'm just repeating the hashtag, Cliff. Don't get offended. You're terrible. <laughs> I am. <laughs> we did oh, it. Oh, 26. 26. 26. We did it. So before we do the drawing, um, Cliff, you want to show them the extra books that you're adding in there? Yes, I will. Steve Biz will show his. Those are extra. They have been added in. Oh, my God. This prize is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Prize negative is space. Some negative space. Oh, my goodness. Wall. Gotta be the best prize Peter out. Down. On the tube wow. right now. 
best prize going out on the YouTube. I'm going to make a list all of right, all the Brace things. yourselves, everybody, because it is none other than a Titans Beast World number two lenticular cover. Oh, Ooh. lenticular. Whoa. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. yes. And a first edition variant of Ultimate Black Panther. Oh, Ooh. hey, yo. Wow, <laughs> hey, yo. If, that, yo. if this doesn't spark you guys, Listen, nothing will. The prize is easily, if you add up all the values, it's easily over $200, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, are we easy. there yet? Are we really there? It's easily over $200. Yeah. We're gonna, we're, I'm going to make a list about it and everything. Um, it's going to be it great. Cost $25. $25 ship with the Canada anyway. $27. Oh, look, we got two Canadians in the mix. Look, we got 27 in the live chat, but there's only 10 entries. We need more entries. Let's go 10 entries, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag you got to put hashtag wrong. Cliff is wrong. If you have just entered into this live chat, you have to put hashtag Cliff is wrong. I'm going to give you another 30 seconds. I'm going to add a 30 <laughs> seconds on there that you can get in because I want you to get this prize. I want you to get it. So over two hundred dollars in prizes. Think, you think it's like our regular event of watchers, and then all of them busted out their burner accounts to like <laughs> <laughs> possibly. We got another one in there. Phil Alien through. We got eleven entries right now. Come Phil. on. You can't win if you don't put the hashtag in, ladies exactly. and gentlemen. Cannot win. Got another twenty seconds. Kenneth Bird in there. Another mm -hmm. twenty seconds. Uh, while that, while we're waiting for everybody to do that, uh, just to let you know, uh, we will be at the shop tomorrow. Alterniverse, if you're in the area between four and seven thirty, we'll be filming. You can stop by and join us. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, and new comic book day will be dropping this week. And on Sunday, we are finishing out our trilogy of Austin Powers with Gold Member. That's Sunday, Welcome five p.m., two p.m. Pacific. <laughs> And then we're back here Monday, 8 p.m. You know, I'm going to give more time for them to get it in there because we got 27. So I'm just awesome. going to give shout outs to everybody that, that came in. Las Cruces, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, Ryan LCS came in tonight. Thank you for joining us. Meet Wad number one came in tonight. Jay Margolis got herself, got himself a duck. Sorry about that. Uh, Brian LCS, we already said that. Big L, thank you for joining us tonight. Jason Ruger came in tonight. Thank you for joining us. Dagger Cards, it's always great for you to be here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, JG showed up tonight. Thank you for joining us. Kenneth Bird showed up tonight. Canadian Survivalist showed up tonight. Thank you for joining us. Aggressively Relaxing showed up. Thank you for joining us tonight. Dun, 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 dun. Eric Martinez, longtime faithful watcher, joining us tonight. Thank you for being here. Dun, 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 dun. Comic Cap Collectibles is in the house. Thank you for joining us tonight. The Comic Vet won themselves a duck tonight. Thank you for joining us. See what happens when you tune in? You get a duck. Get a duck, my friend. Uh, 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 uh. Keep going. Keep going. Do, do, do. Sean Murphy is in the house tonight. His, his channel, great stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. Phil Ailey is in the house. Thank you for joining us tonight. All right. Oh, and on the books one is in the house. Thank you for joining us tonight. Very, very nice. All right. Um, 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Who will win the last duck of the night, ladies and gentlemen? Round and round it goes. Where that duck table chops, nobody knows. Mm, who will it be? Margola's got two. Oh. Oh. Congratulations. You know why Jay Margola's got two? Because they participated. And when you participate, <laughs> great things happen. He's got three ducks. Three oh. ducks. Oh, You're wow. in the running. You're in the running, kid. You're in the running. All right. So it's been a great show tonight. We want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, I gave you all the stuff. Remember, Film Box Office News is on Sunday, 5 p.m., 2 p.m. Pacific. We'll be back next Monday at 8 p.m., uh, 5 p.m. Pacific for New Keys and Hot Comics. Uh, we'll be see what else we can add on to this. Dagger cards. StreamYard doesn't rig things. We let StreamYard do it. Um, and, yeah, 
You guys got any last words to say before we get out of here? Mm-hmm. Woo! <laughs> we might Love not have guys. to ship to Canada. <laughs> Smoking a pancake. <laughs> so, for myself, for Cliff, for Phil, for C. Bizzle, for Green Shirt Guy, and the rest of the Council of Comics, Love you. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Peace. Black is like the brightest day. Where are the heroes?